ecotourism in Rwanda and uh, I think in uh, the whole region because we, uh, we share the gorillas, mountain gorillas with the Uganda and, and Congo, ecotourism uh, has a long history and uh, ecotourism came as a way of uh, trying to improve the livelihood of the people so that the people underst could understand the value of uh, the forest and the mountain gorilla, the mountain gorilla and its habitat. And, uh, um, ecotourism uh, has gone a long way. Um, they used to have ecotourism with all the income from the for the government. And since uh, several years now, we include what we call a revenue sharing benefit, which means that all the income generated by the tourism, ecotourism, should be uh, bring back to the communities. So certain percentage were affected to the community to improve the livelihood, to build and to solve their problem so that the people could not have to rely on uh, natural resources in a park. Actually, presently we are giving 5% of the total income of ecotourism. And um, the mountain gorilla visit, you know, are for about 97% of the total income of the revenue sharing by the ecotourism and tourism in Rwanda. A workshop of exchanging with the different experts on uh, mountain gorilla behavior, tourism, uh, ecotourism. The good part of it was the fact that we went in the field, talk with the people, live realities, and uh, discuss about how appropriate we can probably do ecotourism according to the reality of each of the countries, each of the species. We, I really like very much to the way that we share with uh, not only uh, the ecotourism in Africa, but the reality in uh, Saudi Asia with uh, the orangutan. And of course, I learned a lot from uh, the, how the challenge are different from what we have in Africa versus to what we have been uh, hearing from our community here in, uh, in uh, Indonesia. I, I think that uh, there is a way of uh, improving, you know, what we can be charged. And I think by, by the demand and by the services, the quality of services, there is a way of making it exclusive. Because what we can do it's eventually, and uh, to make it a low volume with uh, limited people that can visit it, but we putting the price and high with high price. But the, the, I think the, the wonderful thing is that I've seen orangutan in the zoo, but for the first time, seeing an orangutan in his in natural habitat was something exceptional. And that's when I think that, yes, I can pay the price because even myself, being you know, in, a zoo, in a zoo with orangutan, having working with them in the zoos, you know, finding them in a in natural habitat is something exceptional. It's a, it's a unique experience. And I used to hear from people coming who visit gorillas that, you know, uh, mountain gorilla is the best experience in my life. Today, I can say yes, it's one of the most uh, wonderful experiences that I can talk on uh, wildlife visits.